Few things evoke the same level of widespread dread as hearing, we've been hacked, whether at home, school, work, or any place else. Who did it? Why? What information did they obtain? What is the extent of the harm and the probable consequences? How do we get better? You might be terrified, furious, concerned, apprehensive, victimized, perplexed, or any mix of these emotions. You may be a fresh startup, an established firm, a Fortune 500 corporation, or just a teenager with some very questionable content on your phone that you would want to keep within your puny little four-digit code. But hackers don't play favorites. In fact, it is estimated that more than 30,000 sites are hacked and infected every day, and they range from small to medium to enterprise level. It makes absolutely no difference who you are or what you do. There are no safe zones. As with the old cowboy movies, there are white hat hackers. You know, the good ones, and black hat hackers, the not so good ones. Then there are the gray hats, good, evil heroes and villains. It just depends on whom you ask. But all of them have built a history for us to look at and learn from. So today, we have for you the top 10 craziest hacks ever that will introduce you to the unsafe cyber world. Number 10. Sony PlayStation Network Here's one that might be familiar to our no-life gamer nerds. Just kidding. I'm a gamer as well, waiting to get my hands on the next GTA. Sony's PlayStation Network was the victim of a targeted distributed denial-of-service or DDoS assault in 2011, in which hundreds of thousands of bots took control and rendered service delivery impossible. Personal information, including names and addresses, of around 77 million users with accounts on the PlayStation Network system had been stolen. The attack prompted the network to shut down for more than 20 days, locking out games and resulting in a $171 million loss. These attacks were carried out by Anonymous, a well-known hacker group. The hacktivist movement was outraged by Sony's lawsuit against PS3 hacker George Hotz. Anonymous stated that they were protesting against Sony for penalizing developers who attempted to tweak their own hardware. Number 9. NASDAQ In late 2010, a Russian attempt was made to hack the NASDAQ, the second largest stock exchange. You know, a less fancy and more formal version of a casino. The FBI was the first to detect, and their investigation revealed suspected malware on NASDAQ systems. No one had ever successfully penetrated such a target, and an NSA study of the malware verified that it was most likely built and operated by a foreign intelligence agency rather than a computer whiz with too much free time. It was later linked to Russian software engineering, and it was attempting to steal $11 billion from the NASDAQ. If it had been effective, it would have wreaked havoc on the system and crippled the US economy again. This was definitely avoided. But it does show the stock exchanges and financial sectors' vulnerabilities. Number 8. Yahoo Poor Yahoo is in shambles. It was once the king of search engines, but it has lately fallen on hard times. People have quit it in droves in favor of Google, Bing, and other search engines. Its cause was not helped when it revealed massive hacks that occurred years previously in 2016. In 2013, over 1 billion, yes, billion with nine zeros, Yahoo accounts were hacked, including names, birth dates, security questions, contact information, and passwords. In 2014, another 500 million accounts were compromised. The exact number of impacted accounts is unknown, because it is unknown how many of those accounts overlap with the initial attack. But it's quite a bit. It's the largest hack of a single entity in internet history. That's not a great claim to fame for a company trying to woo users back to its flock. And while Yahoo is no longer as big as it once was, the tendency for people to repeat passwords and security questions has major consequences. If you used to have a Yahoo email account in 2009 and subsequently moved to Gmail with the same password, the hack means that someone may access your current email account. Perhaps you use the same password or security questions for your online banking or e-commerce accounts, as well as when you paid your taxes online. Do you see the issue? Number 7. iCloud Celebrity Hacks In 2014, the Apple Cloud Storage platform was used by many A-list celebrities, including Jennifer Lawrence and Kate Upton. 
To gain access, hackers utilized a combination of brute force guessing and phishing methods. They sent out official-looking emails instructing account owners to log in and alter their security credentials. Anyone who did provide the hackers with everything they needed to gain access and copy files. Over the next few weeks, private and often nude images and videos were leaked online. I mean, you might have already known this, but okay. Several people were probed over the next few months, and at least two were found guilty and sentenced to between 9 and 18 months in prison for offenses related to the hack in late 2016 and early 2017. Number 6. The Conficker This malware, which first appeared in 2008, continues to infect up to a million computers globally each year. It replicates and infects other computers, and it may convert your device into a zombie bot for spamming and DDoS assaults. Or it can discreetly log and steal personal information such as passwords and financial accounts via keyloggers. The origin and creator of the Conficker worm are still unclear. It's featured here because of its persistence, as well as the fact that it's the greatest worm infection since Welchia in 2003. Number 5. The American Business Hacks This one is kind of hard to wrap your little head around. There are several moving pieces and players. It has been described as the biggest hacking operation ever discovered in U.S. history. A Russian cyber organization began targeting several brands, businesses, and systems, including 7-Eleven and JCPenney in 2005. They stole 160 million credit and debit card numbers and infiltrated more than 800,000 bank accounts over the period of seven or eight years. They are thought to be directly or indirectly responsible for at least $300 million in global damages. Some of the data was sold like credit card numbers for $10 to $50 on black market sites, while other data was used to steal cash straight from accounts, and they allegedly stole $9 million using bogus ATM cards at Citibank and PNC Bank. Number 4. The American Military Hack This one is my personal favorite. Gary McKinnon, a Scottish hacker, obtained access to 97 distinct U.S. military networks at the Pentagon and NASA. His mission? To gather evidence to support the presence of UFOs. McKinnon left taunting messages like, Your security system is crap. I am a solo. I will continue to disrupt at the highest levels on the military systems he hacked, and military authorities claim they spent well over $800,000 recovering from the damage. The sheer ease with which McKinnon barged in and began poking around highly classified government systems, as well as his somewhat ludicrous excuse for doing so, are what stand out about the whole event. Number 3. Mafia Boy In 2000, a 15-year-old hacker known as Mafia Boy, aka Michael Calce, launched a massive DDoS attack against some of the internet's most important sites. Before being caught, he successfully knocked down CNN, Yahoo, Amazon, eBay, Dell, and E-Trade. He began as a young 9-year-old, breaking into AOL to prolong his 30-day free pass. Remember those? The DDoS assaults in 2000 were not carried out for financial gain, vengeance, or any other malevolent purpose. He was only looking to impress the internet hacking community. Mission accomplished! He not only became well known inside that group, but he also piqued the interest of the President of the United States and the Attorney General. He was finally caught, arrested, and sentenced to eight months in a youth group home. Calce works today as a cybersecurity consultant, strictly white hat only, at least on the surface. Number 2. Melissa Virus This simple virus, created by David L. Smith, and transmitted in 1999, a lifetime ago in IT terms, disguised itself as a Microsoft Word attachment to an email. When the victim clicked, it reproduced itself and sent copies to the first 50 persons on the victim's contact list. It is believed that 20% of the world's PCs were infected at the time. That's one in every five. Although no important information was taken, several organizations were affected for days as IT staff attempted to remove the vexing malware from their systems. Smith was arrested and sentenced to 20 months of prison after being accused of inflicting $80 million in damages. It's a candidate for the crown because of its place in hacker history as the greatest outbreak of its time as well as the fact that even uninfected firms cut their internet connection for days out of fear. And why was it called Melissa? Smith named it after a Miami stripper. And number one, 
Citibank Vladimir Levin, a Russian computer engineer, stole $10 million in the early days of the internet, but not by going online. He broke into the Citibank phone system and stole account credentials, passwords, and account numbers from consumers, who uttered them aloud to service representatives. Levin then used those credentials to move millions of dollars to numerous accounts throughout the world. He was subsequently caught and sentenced to three years in jail, with everything except $400,000 recovered. This was one of the first high-profile and public electronic thefts from a financial institution. So, how did you find this list? Motivated enough to carry out your own hacking gig? Do take this advice from us. Don't even try! Alright, thanks then. Bye!